If you use FastKey Text Expander, you already know that manual text input is the most used and the simplest macro available. This macro is used to enter a dynamic text in the substitution, like names, accounts, and so on, things that could vary each time. In this video, we're going to check all important settings to make sure you get the most out of it. We first need to put the cursor in the right place and then select Manual Text Input Macro from the menu. Just give it a name. And that's all. The other options are all optional. OK, simple as that. Now you see, after running my abbreviation, I get a pop-up asking me to fill in the information that's missing. I can always double click the macro placeholder to edit it, but let's create another one to see what other options are available. The macro name lets FastKeys recognize a field. Fields with the same name are treated as one, meaning you fill out one field and the other will automatically fill in with the same text. It's also good to set the description. It'll be shown on the query to better explain the expected entry. You may want to set the default text that'll appear instead of a blank entry field. Alternatively, you may wish to enable the Remember Last Input option. In this case, the latest entry will be pre-filled when you call the form next time. The next option allows a multi-line entry instead of one line only. And the No Output option is used in specific cases, for example, when you want to just gather data to be used later in another macro, like conditions, calculations, or scripts. And there are input formats. Many of them are available. These are convenient for preventing input mistakes. The field could be set as required so that it reminds you in case you leave it blank. Then it can also be set to accept only numbers or text or email formats, etc. Many options. And when all is done, FastKeys can also manipulate the final output if needed. Select Output Format Menu to add further instructions about what to do with the entered text. For example, you can set the default output in case of a blank entry, and so on. OK, let's see how this works. You see the full description, and it reminds me that the field is required. I hope you learned something useful to make the most of this. Please check out Fast Keys with the links below and subscribe so you don't miss further content. And if you ever want to work on your public speaking skills, you've probably heard me say it before, check out publicdynamics.com. I work internationally on Zoom to help people feel more prepared, polished, and powerful. Thanks, and see you again.